I'm at APF 2022 talking to Robin of Extra Charcoal. Uh, Robin, how have you been enjoying the show? It's been really good, really busy. Uh, it's been a, a fantastically proactive show. <laughs> lots of interest, right. lots of people. Yeah, uh, It's been great. A lot of um, the, the exhibitors here are um, making a lot of noise, but you've been attracting people with the smell of charcoal <laughs> burning. Uh, what have you been demonstrating for people here? Demonstrating both the Exeter Retort, yes. which is this larger one, and the Dartmoor Dragon, which is the smaller one, both aimed at slightly different markets. Um, this one's a big, a fairly big producer at around 150 to 8, 180 kilos a day, mm -hmm. very high quality charcoal, and this one around 40 kilos a day. Mm -hmm. There's a massive price difference, as you can imagine. Yes. And how uh, did uh, the design of the Retort come about? The, the design came about because we were we started off as the carbon compost company of biochar supplier uh, and we were buying our biochar which were essentially charcoal fines from local producers uh, charcoal producers in uh, Devon but we quickly outstripped the available supply hmm. however about that time we had established a relationship with the donkey sanctuary in Devon for their their very high quality compost uh, and they also had as part of their composting process a lot of short rotation willow and they offered that to us for charcoal right we just had to convert it into charcoal, of course, so we um, uh, did a Rincon course, established that's not how we were going to do it. Okay. Jeff, the designer, um, said let's build a retort, so we drew one up, we invested in it, and after a lot of development, here we are today with a very reliable, very sturdy machine. And uh, how is it how, how is it sold? I mean, is it uh, sold locally, uh, elsewhere? Have you got many? Have you had many customers? Yeah, it's sold all over the world actually. Really? We, there's a license agreement in America, that, uh, in Australia. There was one in America, but we're looking for a new partner there. However, we export quite a few as well. So, of the machines sold, perhaps 15 20% have gone abroad. Right, well. Wow. Uh, some to Europe, some to America. And uh, what kind of customers do the different machines appeal to? The larger one um, is uh, quite a serious proposition, so there are um, wood fuel businesses where they have a lot of uh, wood that won't go through a processor uh, and they typically burn or give away. That is now worth a lot of money because you put it in this machine um, and in effect um, it's just additional income for that business because the cost of the woods against the wood fuel business and there's usually people in the yard that can operate it while they're doing other things. The smaller one is aimed at the smaller producer, perhaps somebody with a small woodland or, or, or a hedge lane business that, that has a fair few arisings mm -hmm. uh, and it's ideally sized for that. Mm -hmm. With uh, the current uh, energy crisis, if you will, I know there's been a lot of interest in wood fuels and, and such like. What kind of interest have you um, been getting on this, the stand while you've been here? Uh, one of the um, interesting things, uh, or one of the big areas of interest, is the uh, excess energy that this machine in particular produces because um, while it's running, to control the temperature, we bleed off excess gas uh -huh. through the bleed valve. Um, you can have a four foot flame there for four hours. Wow. It's obviously a lot of wasted energy. We, we, we've, we've worked with the government on a project to take off uh, that, that excess gas, cool it, clean it and turn it into electricity. Amazing. Uh, we have succeeded in doing that, but there is more work needed to produce a system that's saleable, and, and so there's a bit more investment to be done here. And are you going to be um, showing it working today at any point? Or? Not today, no. Today. It's day three. We can't turn the machine hot, so we can't fire it because we're going to be taking it away later this evening. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. So both machines uh, remain cold today. Uh -huh. But for anyone who's interested to, to learn more, uh, you can visit us at uh, exitercharcoal.co.uk. We are more than happy to set up a demonstration for anyone down in Devon that would like to come and see the machine. Excellent. Well, Robin, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you.